For a while now for like a month now but it wasn't really planned i remember in my last video i said that wasn't going to be my last video for the year which was 2021 but it actually ended up being my last video for 2021 because covid had other plans for me and so i was down with covid for like a week and when i finally recovered i just thought to you know take it easy and gradually get back into filming but you know along the line i just said to myself let me take january off to strategize for my channel on how to grow my channel and plan out content and have like a concrete plan on how to you know bring you guys good valuable and quality content so yeah that's why i've been mia for a while but yeah happy new year guys i hope you guys are having a good year so far um for me the year is now starting um january was more of like you know trials into 2022 for me so yeah the year is now starting for me oh i've never been introduced myself hold on guys hi if you're new here if this is your first time seeing this lovely face my name is naku alote and you're most welcome to my channel however i would really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family to my returning viewers and subscribers you lot are the real mvps thank you for you know staying with me throughout 2021 and coming into 2022 with me so as you can see from the title of today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some habits i'm developing i wouldn't say they are habits i've developed because i'm still in the process of having them become you know actual habits so yeah i'm going to be sharing with you guys some habits i'm developing to become that girl so for those of you who follow me on the gram or even on snapchat you might have seen that i've been putting up you know intentional living 2022 that's actually my personal theme for this year um, i'm trying to be intentional about everything and um, because of that it calls for me to you know learn certain um, new good habits and unlearn some of the bad habits i have so yeah that's what 2022 is all about for me being intentional in order to become that girl and that girl for me is becoming the best version of myself or living the life i've been dreaming of or living the life i deserve so yeah that's what 2022 is all about for me it's about being intentional putting in the work to become that girl i'm going to be sharing these habits with you today and before i even go ahead to share the habits i'm developing with you guys today i want you guys to understand that before you actually you know say you want to make this a habit sit down to think about it and don't just you know pick up habits because you've seen that other people are doing it it should be a habit that you see yourself 
being able to stick to in the long term it shouldn't be something that because you've seen person a doing it you're also going to do it it should actually be something that would be beneficial to you you should know yourself understand yourself know the kind of person you are and know which habits would be beneficial to you so yeah let's get into the habits i am developing in order to become that girl so these are habits that i've been you know practicing or doing for the past three weeks today is 28th january and like i said um january is like a trial for me and these are habits i've been doing for like the past three weeks and they've actually been beneficial to me in the past three weeks and they've helped me to you know stay productive day by day so yeah these are habits that i personally have chosen because i understand myself i know the kind of person i am and i know how these habits would be of benefit to me so yeah i'm not proud saying this but i'm a procrastinator i know the kind of person i am and because i know the kind of person i am these habits are habits that i know would you know help me do away with the habits of procrastinating and help me to be more productive and help me to be the best version of myself so first things first um from the you know earlier clips you might have seen these habits that i'm going to be talking about here so um first of all um this was actually not part of the earlier clips but let me show you i'm not the type of person who you know makes new year resolutions like religiously year after year i believe i've done it a couple of times or a couple of years but i'm not that person who makes you know new year resolutions year after year so this year because i said to myself i'm going to be intentional about everything i had to know what i want my life to look like i had to know what i want to achieve by the end of the year and knowing myself comparing you know writing down new year resolutions to having a vision board i chose a vision board because i believe that having you know a pictorial uh, version a uh, pictorial vision of where i want to be by the end of the year would motivate me more as compared to you know reading out what i want to achieve by the end of the year and that could be like so much to actually absorb or like take it all in so yeah i chose to go with a vision board because i believe seeing where i want to be by the end of the year or seeing how i want my life to be or seeing what i want to achieve by the end of the year would be more motivating to me as compared to actually reading them so yeah for the first time this year i created a vision board um i actually put it up on my instagram as well asking if um, you've created a vision board before and how useful it was and majority of you actually had good stuff to say about you know having a vision board however some of you also messaged me to ask me about you know how i created my vision board so yeah i'll do that you know very briefly it's not anything complex it's very you know simple you can just get your hands around it real quick so yeah for the first time this year i created a vision board which i'm pretty much excited about because seeing my vision board every day reminds me to put in the work reminds me to work towards becoming that girl reminds me to work towards everything i have on that board so yeah i actually printed two copies of my vision board i've not pasted the other one yet i'll find somewhere nice to paste it but i have the other one in my journal i write in my journal every morning um journaling is also one habit i'm developing we'll get to that but yeah i write in my journal every morning and as soon as i open my journal every morning i actually see this and it reminds me that i need to put in the work to get here like seeing this every morning this is so beautiful and i can't wait to live this beautiful life and so it pushes me it motivates me it reminds me of the fact that i need to put in the work and i just can't wait to achieve you know everything i have on this beautiful board by the end of the year so yeah one of the new habits i developed this year or i'm developing is having a vision board and i'll continue doing that year after year because this 
it's so beautiful guys so yeah um on how i created my vision board i actually used three apps i used canva um pinterest and on splash so canva has like a lot of templates um, you just have to search for vision board or search for vision board 2022 and you'd have access to numerous um, free templates then um pinterest and on splash you can get like pictures so like inspiration of what you want to look like or what you want to achieve by the end of the year and all you need to do is save those pictures and then import them to canva and you'd have your vision board created and i would also suggest that when you create your vision board paste it somewhere you are likely to see like every day so it serves as a reminder to you so if it means pasting it on a wall in your room or pasting it on your mirror or pasting a copy in your journal like wherever you are likely to see it every day paste it there and let it serve as a reminder that you deserve this life so yeah that's one of the habits i'm developing this year all right guys so another habit i'm developing is journaling um so i write in my journal um every morning and before i go to bed at night um and like i mentioned earlier on i have a copy of my my vision board um pasted on the front front page of my journal and so yeah before i actually get into a bit of what i write in my journal i've noticed that ever since i started you know journaling i've become more appreciative more grateful for the little things that i used to you know take for granted in the past years it's made me you know um celebrate like my small wins my big wins and it's made me conscious of like every progress i make in my life even though i've been doing this like in a short period of time it's made me like at least realize like progress no matter how small it is and it's made me appreciate like little things that i actually used to take for granted in the past so yeah and all it's actually made me you know um develop a habit of you know gratitude being grateful and also you know staying on track and being focused so um a bit of what i write in my journal mostly when i wake up after doing my devotion and all of that I write in my journal so mostly i write where like where i am like for the most part i'm home so where i am the time obviously the date and um i also write my my mood every day like how i'm feeling that particular day on the top and yeah the actual things i write in my journal i write three things i'm excited for that day three good decisions i can make that day so yeah those are the basic things that i write in the mornings um except if like there's something major i want to write about then yeah then in the evenings um i mostly write three things i'm grateful for and aside that if like something major happened there was like some incidents occurrence events or something that i would want to note down then yeah i write that as well so yeah basically that's what i write in my journal and though i haven't been writing for long like it feels good to know i have a journal and probably next year i can come back to my journal to see like on that particular date how i was feeling like what happened in my life and compared to where i would be by then and yeah this is so relaxing to me it's more of like me talking to myself and i actually look forward to writing in my journal like every morning and evening before i go to bed and yeah so this is another habit i'm developing and i'm loving it so far to be honest i'm really loving this whole you know journaling thing especially in the evenings when i'm writing you know what i'm grateful for and i take a look back at you know the three good decisions i said i could take that day and being able to actually you know accomplish those good decisions or actually taking those good decisions like it brings me so much joy okay guys so another habit i'm trying to develop is you know having a to-do list so i have this whiteboard that i write on every day so in the mornings i list everything that i need to get done on that particular day like no matter how small it is or no matter how little of a tax it is i write it down and yeah so this helps me to stay organized and i mostly try as much as possible to you know write it down in a what's the word chronological order so maybe 
I need to get this done before I do this or I know I can do this in the morning before I do this in the afternoon so yeah I list it in that way and like I said no matter how little it is I write it down I know myself I'm a procrastinator so this is one thing that would help me stay on track this is one thing that would help me stay focused and mostly in the evenings when the day comes to an end and I'm you know taking the ones that I've accomplished like it brings me so much joy I'm the kind of person who finds so much joy and you know self-accomplishment and so knowing the kind of person I am knowing I'm a procrastinator yet I love the sense of you know being self-accomplished this is a perfect habit for me that's why i said earlier on that you need to understand the kind of person you are and you need to adopt habits that will be you know beneficial to you so yeah it brings me so bad joy at the end of the day when i'm actually you know taking up those those tasks that i've been able to accomplish so yeah this actually helps me to stay productive helps me stay focused helps me like yeah get through my day and actually get things done so the last habit i'm going to be talking about is not you know it's not a new habit it's something i do already but um i've not been doing it in a very long time which is working out and taking care of my health staying healthy staying fit so i think after i got married i got back to the gym for a while and i stopped because i was not having time for the gym but yeah this year i want to you know take care of myself take care of my health be fit um eat well and all of that so yeah i'm back to the gym and I'm loving it so far uh, if you follow me on the gram also you know that i'm back to the gym i posted you know my first day at the gym i made a reel and i posted it on instagram and it was good so even before i went back to the gym i think a week before i started working out at home because i wanted my body to get used to the fact that we're going to start working out again baby so yeah i started working out at home and my body you know adjusted to it gradually and i also wanted to you know deal with the whole initial body pains that come when you start working out like fresh so i started working out at home and my body went through that phase um and then a week after i hit the gym not to say when i hit the gym it was like no pains and all of that but it was it was manageable so yeah i'm back to the gym i work out five times a week um the two days i go in the morning and then the rest of the three days i go in the evenings and yeah it's been good so far um i know i put on so much weight so i'm trying to you know get rid of that weight and get that body back in shape and yeah i'm eating healthy as well i'm currently on a low carbs low calories diet so yeah that's just about it eating my fruits and drinking my greens and minding the business that pays me yeah so yeah just trying to you know stay fit and stay healthy because like they say health is wealth so yeah in order to become that girl i need to take good care of my health make sure i'm fit i'm healthy and get that body in shape so um before i end this video i also want to show you guys this app that helps me stay focused this app that helps me stay organized like so um the app is called productive habits tracker and so what the app does is it allows you to add new habits so with all the habits i've mentioned like i just add them on there and i assign times to them so what this app does is that it helps to to prompt me and it helps to remind me that this has to be done at a specific time and basically that's just about it so it helps you to to stay on track it helps you to actually track your progress as well and one thing i like about this app is the prompts like when it's notifying you that you need to get this done like the way it actually notifies you like it's it comes in the most motivating way and it just you know gives you that kick to go get it done so yeah for instance today it was prompting me to get my skincare done so yeah skincare is another thing um trying to be very consistent with it's not a new habit that's why i didn't really talk about it but yeah it was prompting me to get my skincare done so the prompt was skincare which is the habit and under it it said it matters and this is like reminding you that if you want to look that good then skincare matters it's just the prompt for me the way it actually prompts you to get things done another instance is like it was prompting me to do my to-do list 
and it said give it your best shot like if this doesn't give you the push to get things done then i don't know what kind of human being you are like really so yeah it's more about the way it pumps me to get things done and at the end of the day or after each activity yeah you can just take it off as done or yeah so you just um slide to the right and it takes it off as done and it gives you like a report at the end of the day sort of so yeah that's another thing that's helping me to stay on track with my new habits and yeah okay guys thank you so much for watching this video uh, let me know if you have any comments or whatever you have to say in the comment section below if you're also developing some new habits for this year you can share them with us in the comment section below um, if you've created a vision board before or if this is your first time creating a vision board this year like let's talk in the comment section i just want to know what's up with you guys what's new with you this year and if you're also all about living an intentional life this year and becoming that girl and becoming the best version of yourself then give me a thumbs up in the comment section below and let's do this together guys cheers to becoming the best versions of ourselves and i can't wait to see all of us win and become that girl all right guys i'll see you guys in my next video and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends